three word method. Tanya is going to walk us through it and how we can use it to create stylish go to looks. So Tanya, I am intrigued. I am digging all of this, but what is the three word method? Yeah, so it is describing and defining our personal style using three words. Okay. So basically when you're getting ready in the morning or when you're going shopping, you're using these words as a guide. Yeah. So you're, you're shopping with more of, you know, a directed kind of approach instead of just mm -hmm. buying whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really those pieces that make you feel like your most authentic self. Right, okay, so how do we go about choosing what our three words are? Right, so there's a few approaches to this. So the first one is, you know, when looking at your closet, what are you gravitating to? What are you wearing the most? Mm -hmm. And what do you feel the best in? And yeah. then how would you describe those pieces in three words? Okay. So that's approach number one. Yeah. The second one is, you know, how do you want to project yourself, right? Like, what kind of image are you putting out there? Yeah, yeah. How do you want people to see you? Mm -hmm. um, you know, is it relaxed? Is it professional? There's right. obviously a lot of adjectives there. Yes. And then the third is thinking about your lifestyle, because that is a huge consideration. Right, what's functional. Exactly. And then for those who maybe are having some trouble finding those words, yeah. it's really helpful to just online pull up a, a list of adjectives and then see what's speaking to you by looking at those. Very cool. Okay, so it's almost like having a vision board for your style Absolutely. and then that will guide you for whenever you shop uh, you're gonna show us this method in real life but we have to talk about your look <laughs> yeah. come on we have to talk yeah. about your look so what are your three words so mine are playful yes. bold yes. and retro ah yes yes because you know I love making a fashion statement you and do. I really love pulling inspiration from different decades yeah I like a little 80s or 90s kind of flair today right. I'm doing more of a 60s mod look totally so that was the inspo that I was pulling or drawing from today yeah. and this dress is from Zara Oh my gosh, I love it. Well, Thank we see you. the beret and we just think, oui, 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 mademoiselle. <laughs> oui. C'est très bon. Oui. <laughs> okay, so let's show our model that we have uh, next. We've got Juliana. Her words, hi. So you're going to get this. Her words are classic, clean, and minimalist, which is perfect. Exactly. So this head to toe look is from Everlane, and mm -hmm. they do these wardrobe basics incredibly well. They're quality, they're elevated, mm -hmm. and these are the pieces, Tracy, they're never gonna go out of style. Yes, you know, that's true. A straight leg denim, yep. a white turtleneck, this blazer, a camel coat, a black boot that's not pointy-toed or round-toed, it's that square toe, yep. and then even the tote bag. So what's great about this and thinking about those words is that we could switch it up. So instead of the turtleneck, we can put on a classic white t-shirt or a white button up. Mm -hmm. So we can have different iterations of this, right. but we're still kind of sticking to those three words. I love that. And as you move in and out of the different phases of your life, your words might change, right? Exactly. And you know what, Tracy, like even my words, Juliana's words, someone else is gonna have a different interpretation of them. Absolutely. So it's ever, it's, it's evolving. Absolutely, Juliana, thank you so much. Beautiful. <laughs> Next we've got Natasha, so let's bring her out. And her words are comfy, athletic, and functional. This is the perfect uh, representation of those three words, I'd say. Totally. So we can be comfortable, but we can still be really stylish. Yes. And please, like, let's let's stray from the all, like, kind of black leggings yeah. and black. Let's pop some color. Mm -hmm. Let's put a little print. I love this look. This is from Reebok Canada. Yeah. And, you know, this is also, speaking about retro, this is kind of like an 80s, 90s, totally. oversized color yeah. block. Yeah. Right? And, you know, the sneakers are so comfortable. We can run around all day. So this can take you from, you know, lunch to the grocery store, the gym. Mm -hmm. You can go a lot of places in this look. Yes. And... Ronsi packs. I've talked about them before. The fanny pack is from there, and then your hands free, and you could do all the things. Very cool. She yeah. can just do a cartwheel if she feels like right now. <laughs> yeah. And listen, we know Natasha, and yeah. she's no like she she's a bold personality. Absolutely. This look fits with who she is. Natasha, thank, thank you. you so much. Thanks, Natasha. Yeah. Really good. Shivani is next. So Shivani is giving posh, polished, sophisticated. Those are her three words. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yes. So we have, you know, our own posh spice here right. today. And that was kind of what I was keeping in mind as I was pulling a look here. And this is all from Winners. Okay. I love this dress. So I'm just gonna reveal. Is it a dress? Your, so it's a dress. Oh, I know nice. it looks like a top and a skirt. Oh, that's it's a cool. one piece. Yeah. If I told you the price that I found it for and what the designer name is, really, mine would be blown. Okay. So I'll just keep that element of surprise there. But yeah, mm. fantastic price point. And then you know this oxblood um, suede. 
suede or faux suede jacket on top that we just draped over her shoulder. It's beautiful. And we're keeping it, again, very posh and classy and clean with um, the sheer tight and then a black pointy-toed heel, which is always like very posh. Right? It is very posh, head yeah. to toe. I feel like that's so not me, but for the for the folks that are looking for sophisticated and polished, this is it. Like head to toe. You did very well with the words there, Tanya. Thank, Thank you. you for that. Now we know that, yeah, you can give her some love. That's so cute. Yes. 